The key purpose of this short video is the use of the V60 throat V60 Plus in invasive ventilation. It's important at this stage to mention that the actual device is not licensed for life support, but it is licensed for invasive use and can be used in invasive modes. Your on off button is down here and if I turn it on, it will power up. There are no preset checks in this device and there are no default settings. So a key thing to always remember is that you should, whenever you turn this device on, you should always check all the settings and all the alarms each time. The machine asks you for two pieces of information when you switch it on and that you will answer those in the menu. It also reminds you to use a bacterial viral filter on the gas outlet. To acknowledge that fact, if I press the alarm reset, that message will disappear. To address the two issues we need to answer, I, if I open the menu, there is a box that says mass stroke port. If I open that, it starts off with the interface. If we're going to use it invasively, we will then look for ET stroke tracky setting and press accept. In terms of the interface, if you're doing invasive ventilation, you will use the same circuit setup as you would for non-invasive. In other words, a passive exhalation port. So you will look for DEP, disposable exhalation port, and accept. In terms of mode settings invasively, if you, uh, uh, op if, if you open the modes, it will give you the options of doing pressure controlled ventilation. And if I acknowledge that, you can adjust the settings. It is also possible to use AVAPS mode invasively, and AVAPS has got a long acronym, Average Volume Assured Pressure Support. And if I activate that, as I did with the previous mode, I can adjust the settings on this device.